In this video, we will talk about how to get your wardrobe in line with your personal brand. And we start in right now. Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel with over 300 videos on men's style, fashion, anything related to making men look smarter. We welcome you to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, do it right now. We are talking about men's style, men's fashion, lots of cool stuff. Do it now. And I know what all of you are thinking right now. What does my wardrobe have to do with being a successful entrepreneur? Well, in just one word, I would say everything. Because first impression counts, right? And I'll try not to um, get changed every time I'm doing a new verse. I think that's better for personal brand, right? Because the clothes you wear tell people a lot about you before you even open the mouth. That doesn't mean you have to wear tailored suits every day of your life, but it does mean that you have to think about the clothes you're wearing and you buy. Because who is watching when you step out of that door in the morning? News alert, everyone's watching. So let's talk about what message do you want to send? And it all depends, of course, on the message that comes with your personal brand. If you feel like you want to be a successful entrepreneur and you work in, let's say, the fashion industry, the most important thing is that you actually get creative with what you wear and you sort of pay attention to latest uh, trends of every season and be aware of them and you appreciate them. If, on the other hand, you sell power tools, you're going to obviously have got a very different tone, voice, and your look is going to be different because your brand is different. That doesn't mean you have to leave the house with grease stained shirts and dirty jeans, but you have to be aware of the fact that you have to wear appropriate clothes. What would I wear there? Well, I would think about something that it's appropriate in a way that never forget about this, that everyone's watching. So make sure you look presentable. Make sure you're sort of clean and nice. Make, make sure you've got those manly looks. So I'll probably go for some flannel shirts, white t-shirt. I'll probably go some jeans fitted. Uh, I would also go for nice looking boots as well. And one of the reasons why I was successful at the very beginning in 2015 when I started all of this was that I kind of paid attention to what I was wearing. I obviously did that because that was what I wanted to do, but also I always bear in mind one thing that kind of drives me till now, and that's a video. It's not even if it's a clip from a longer movie. And this is from a movie called Prestige, where there are two uh, magicians trying to sort of um, outdo each other and there is a part of this movie where there is a Chinese magician guy and the whole point of that magician doing the thing is that even hours after the show has finished he's still playing his role he's still sort of looking wonky so no one even realizes that's his normal walk or that's his pretend stage walk everyone's watching all the time Remember that. And also be consistent and unique because you don't want to look um, sort of widely one day and be normal the other day. If you wear your company clothes, make sure it's in line with also the company voice and the message you're trying to sell. Because the same as your company logo and your company voice, you don't change it. So make sure you understand what the message is for your brand so the customer don't get confused. And I always try to think about the wardrobe like your logo and your brand colors and brand voice. That doesn't mean you have to wear your logo and brand colors everywhere you go. It doesn't mean that I have to have a shirt and written on it men's finest, but it does mean it does take that little bit of thinking of what you're gonna wear next and why. And of course, if you one of those guys that want to wear sort of branded t-shirts, do it as well from time to time, give it away, make sure that your message spreads, especially if your, let's say, company um, motto or company tagline is something that is catchy and it's sort of nice to share with other people. 
So let's say if you use your business brand to build your wardrobe, you may build it on in terms of fitness and strength, agility or timelessness. It all depends on your business and how your brand approaches the world. And it's all about your personal message and how it complements your brand message. Are you talking the same language? Think about that. And I think people get confused here. In my opinion, you cannot clock out from personal brand. There is lots said and written about personal brand. I don't want to go into this, but in my opinion, you are the owner of the business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can be more casual some days, of course, than others, but you should always represent your brand, even at the weekends, even when you walk in the dogs. And a personal favorite of mine, and this is how I get through uh, sort of my wardrobe, I get ready the night before. Because to help myself out with that, I go ahead and plant what I'm going to wear a night before. That way, in the morning, sort of you won't be tempted to throw on whatever you grab on first. You'll have time to get dressed, look yourself over and make any last minute tweaks and adjustments to perfect your look. And the more you practice in line with your personal brand, the easier it'll get. Start today and see the difference it can make for your business over the long run. Hope it was useful. Hope that video about connection between personal brand and your wardrobe is clear to you as it is to me. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Of course, I personally reply to every single question. And don't forget to stay stylish. See you on my next video. Ciao.